Welcome to the Clearly Christian Podcast with Dr. Cy Smith. It's time to know more so you can say no more. It's time for the Clearly Christian Podcast. Here's your host, Dr. Cy Smith. I'm Dr. Cy Smith, and this is Clearly Christian, a podcast about what it means to see the world from God's perspective and then the impact that this has on training the next generation to live a life consistent with the biblical worldview. If you like the show, you've been listening, I'd encourage you to again hit the subscribe button, leave a review. That'll let others know that the show is worth listening to and help us advance the cause of Christian education, both nationally and even worldwide. Today's extra credit version of the Clearly Christian podcast is a deeper dive into my chalkboard points from our recent conversation with Dr. Carrie Beal, biology professor at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. The full episode is live, so just look for the picture of Dr. Beal, and you'll find it there. So now for some extra credit, let's go ahead and dive in. If studies show that our children are walking away from the faith due to intellectual skepticism from unanswered questions, then let us boldly answer their questions with confidence in the Word of God and the life of Christ. This is what we do in Christian schools. One of the primary reasons that Christian schools even exist is to recognize this connection between faith and knowledge. We help young people come to know that they know the truth. This is central to what we do every day in Christian schools through the the information that we teach in the classrooms and then all those formative practices that build on the learning. We want them to know that, listen, you know the truth now and you can have confidence in that. I regularly challenge our teachers to do what Sean McDowell suggested in his book, and that is to make sure kids have two whys for every what. So when you present a new concept that you're teaching, make sure that you can tell them, number one, why this is true. What does God say about it? Let's trace this back and let's look at the facts of this case. And then number two, why does it matter? How should it affect my behavior and how should it influence some of my thinking moving forward, what I do with it? So every big concept, it doesn't happen every lesson, but it definitely happens with what's the key concept I want them to learn? Why is it true and why should I care? Why does it matter? Listen, this is a game changing approach for kids. Not only does it address their desire for reasonable explanations as to what they're learning, they want to know why we're learning, but then it also gives us a platform to to explore those authentic relationships that they so desperately want. So it gives them that truth and relationships piece. McDowell said it like this, and I love that. Relationships are the runway on which truth lands. Relationships are critical when delivering the truth. So when you take time to listen with empathy and you mentor from a place of wisdom and you demonstrate your care and concern with those students uh, throughout this process. What you're doing is you're preparing them for the truth by gaining their trust. And that's critical. Those relationships matter for them. Remember, every young person has a unique story and they want to be treated as an individual. No one's simply the product of his or her generation. So focus on what we have in common. We probably have more in common than what you might think when you think about this young generation. We're both made in God's image, of course. We all know right for wrong. Uh, We yearn for eternal life. We love stories. We want to know that we can live a significant life and that our lives have meaning. So focus on what we have in common. And of course, stay positive. Yep, there's certainly some valid reasons to be concerned about this next generation, but don't dwell on the negative. Relish the chance to mentor, to guide, uh, to love them, and then you'll that way you'll deliver via the relationship the truth uh, that needs to land and can certainly make a difference for this generation. Chalkboard point number two, if we don't consciously equip the young generation, this next generation Gen Z, with a biblical worldview, they're going to unconsciously absorb the worldview of the culture around them, whatever they're being taught. As John Stone Stone Street said, who's the president of the Colson Center, listen, if you don't do anything with your kids, then they will be brainwashed. We can't shy away from giving them the truth that they so desperately want and need. In his book called The Battle for the American Mind, Uprooting a Century of Miseducation in America, author Pete Hegseth, who's also the host of Fox and Friends, he wrote this about education over the last hundred years. He said, today, after 16,000 hours of K-12 education, 
Our kids come out of many government schools rolling their eyes at religion and showing disdain for our Christian history. Western culture is on the ropes, he said. Kids are often bored and aimless, floundering for purpose in a system that says racial and gender identity is everything. The fundamental premise of the book is that since the early 20th century, roughly about 100 years ago, education has been intentionally and systematically transformed in America. Beyond simply moving away from the classical Christian education of our founding fathers, this transformation has always been about the intentional removal of our Western Christian heritage or the biblical worldview. And now we're finding, and this is what Hegseth contends, that those behind this movement have succeeded beyond their wildest hopes and dreams. We see this clearly in subjects like science, which we talked about in this particular episode, where student after student on or survey after survey seems to understand that Christianity and science are incompatible. They just aren't hearing how these two things can fit together. They're asking questions such as, what scientific proof do you have that God even exists? And then somehow they seem to be giving, getting proof of some kind to believe that science without God can explain the world around us. Again, if you do nothing, then they will be brainwashed to think like the world in today's culture, whatever else they're being presented. Listen, it's past time that Christians think about the default education that they're being provided today. This education is nothing like it was even 10 years ago. So don't make any assumptions about what you think your kids are learning in school. It's been a slow fade, but Hexeth is right. This intentional removal of the biblical worldview from our common schools is destroying Christianity in America. If you want further proof, just check out these college campuses, some of our prestigious Ivy League universities around our country, and you'll scratch your head and wonder, How can all of these youth be so misguided and so anti-Christian? Listen, it's all around us and it is a shame. And again, thank you for joining me on our podcast, but I trust that now you know more about how worldview impacts both what we teach and how we teach it and how specifically then the Christian worldview chases hard after truth. Again, if you like the show, help us spread the word. I appreciate you following along, leaving a review, hit the subscribe button, again, advancing our cause of Christian education. Because as I say all the time, the only way that we're going to turn things around in this country is to increase the number of people who live and operate every day with a biblical worldview. And the greatest hope that we have to get there is Christian education, either Christian schools or in the home. So until next time, again, this is Dr. Sy Smith at Clearly Christian Education. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Clearly Christian Podcast with Dr. Cy Smith. Hear more episodes at clearlychristianeducation.com. If you'd like more information about Christian education in your neighborhood, or if you're interested in education opportunities at Mansfield Christian School, or if you agree with Dr. Smith and want to help him in his mission to influence and awaken Christian America, you can send Dr. Smith an email through the clearlychristianeducation.com website. Message him on the Clearly Christian LinkedIn or Facebook page, or call the Clearly Christian Connect Action line at 419-756-5651. This has been the Clearly Christian Podcast with Dr. Sai Smith on clearlychristianeducation.com. Brought to you in conjunction with Mansfield Christian School, a Brian Media production.